In this video, we're going to show you how to automate your content marketing. We're going to go from nothing to a great blog in less than five minutes following these six steps. First, you're going to identify your topic to make sure you have the right topic. Next, you're going to evaluate your subtopics to make sure they're relevant to your audience and you have good content framework to start with. Then you're going to create a content template that helps you focus on the keywords, your top competitors, and sets the stage for using AI to write your post. Step four, you're going to add it to a calendar so you can track it and keep track of the progress that you make on this post. Step five, you're going to use AI tools to write, and you're going to use the best software uh, for writing. We're using Jasper for AI, Surfer SEO for best practices, and Grammarly. Next, you're going to share and track your uh, post through social media and link building. Remember, the success of your blog is based on great content and backlinks. All right, now let's identify your topic by entering some keywords about what you want to talk about. So we do accounting automation at Automate, and so I'm going to type in accounting automation, um, and then I can hit search. But I've got a what you can do is enter a list of keywords. And we go ahead and hit search here, and it's going to give you details on each one of these keywords. As you can see, automation here is got a lot of volume, but it's high, hard to reach. Um, but this one, uh, accounting automation, is relatively easy. It's got 720. It's a lower uh, keyword difficulty. So I'm going to focus on this one. I'm going to click on accounting automation here, and this brings up the keyword overview. Uh, dashboard on that keyword. Now what I like to do is look at the keyword uh, variations here and see all the available variations. On this screen you can see there are a lot of different accounting automation keywords you can target with different volumes. Um, but when looking through this I really like the topic will accounting be automated? So I'm going to click on this one and, and kind of drill into the details on this one. I really like this one, so I'm going to go ahead and add it to my list. And then I'm going to copy this keyword, Control-C, Clipboard. All right, so we're going to focus on evaluating the topic, which is, will accounting be automated? We're going to click Enter here, and we're going to go to Get Content Ideas. On this page, it's going to show you the main overarching topic and different competitors that have ranked high in that topic. You can see the volume here for the different topics. Now, what I like to do is enter one of our competitors and see if they've written an article in this space. And then hit Get Content Ideas. Okay, so I've looked at this, and if there's a green tile, it means the competitor's doing one. None of the competitors have done one in this space. So I'm going to target this one, Process Automation. It's got 2,400, and it has some op topics about this. What does automation mean for the accounting professional? Um, so I'm going to start with this. I'm going to go ahead and check off a couple of my favorites. Will this be automated? And then I'm going to kind of pick out some topics that I like here. So I've checked off some questions that I like in this process. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on my favorite ideas. Now what I like to do is I like to copy these because I'm going to add them to my content template in a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and click this button here to create an SEO template. Notice that SEMrush picked the two topic keywords that we want to rank for. We also want to add the keyword that we originally chose. Will accounting be automated? We're going to click Create SEO Template. And this is going to analyze your top 10 competitors in this space. So right here, you can see all the rivals for the, the different keywords. Um, and then you can also see the keywords that they suggest that you put in the article, the best backlinks, and then it shows you different articles. At the bottom here, you're going to see you know, what they recommend for the page title, meta description, and text. So what I like to do is focus on the target keyword and pick the top competitor. So I'm going to click on this and look at their article and see what I like or don't like about it. What I also like to do is take copy this link 
and then go to the real-time content check. There's import text from the web. I click that button, I paste in the URL and hit import. Now you'll notice it pulls in all the content and text. It talks about the readability, the words, and the issues in the text. You'll notice that this is a pretty good article. It's got great SEO readability, so it's gonna be hard to beat this article. Um, as you can see, it's got, uh, it, looks, it looks like very well written. So we got quite a bit of competition. We're gonna evaluate some of the things that we need to do to beat this comp competitor. Okay, so wrote down some observations, hard to read, smaller paragraphs, and add a video. Now what I'm gonna do is click on share document. Click on share document so I can grab our, the research that we did on this. Okay, that creates a Google Doc. I put keyword and the name of the keyword we're going after, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link so we can share it later on this process. Now, back at the topic research, favorite ideas, what we need to do is add this to our calendar. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this button to schedule the, schedule the task, and then we're going to choose the campaign that we're doing, uh, schedule the date, so I'm gonna give it give a tomorrow since we're gonna write it today, create the activity. Click on view activity. Now we're gonna paste in some details. The keywords. Okay, so I've copied the keywords in the competition review. Now we're ready to get started on our AI writing. Steps five and six are going to be covered in the next blog, which is using AI to write. So stay tuned and click the link in the blog to go to the next video.